Making sense of homophones. Unleashing the power of context clues. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our English language learning series. In today's video, we're going to dive deep into homophones and homonyms and how to choose the correct one using context clues. Yes, you heard it right. We're going to make sense of these tricky words once and for all. First things first, let's recall what homophones and homonyms are. Homophones are words that sound the same but have different meanings. They can sometimes have different spellings as well. For example, two, two, and two are homophones. Homonyms, on the other hand, are words that sound alike and are spelled alike, but have different meanings. A good example is the word bat. It could mean an animal or a piece of sports equipment in cricket or baseball. Now, what do we mean by context clues? Context clues are hints in the sentence that help you figure out the meaning of a word. When you encounter a homophone or homonym, look at the sentence around it. Is it talking about numbers, or is it referring to a direction? The answer lies in the context. For example, if you come across the sentence, he went to the store to buy two loaves of bread, the context clue is, the store, which tells you that, too, refers to a direction. The word, loaves, tells you, too, is a number. Now, let's get to the meat of our discussion. How do we use context clues to choose the right homophone or homonym? It's all about reading and understanding the sentence as a whole. For example, in the sentence, I am tired because I had to bail, bail out water from the boat all day. If you're unsure which word to use, look at the context. The clues, water, and boat, suggest that the correct word is bail, which means to remove water from a boat. Finally, the key to mastering this is practice. Try to read as much as you can and pay attention to the context in which words are used. Write sentences using homophones and homonyms. Ask someone to check if you've used the correct words. With practice, using context clues will become second nature to you. And that's a wrap for today's video on using context clues to identify the correct homophones and homonyms. Remember, when in doubt, look for the context. It's your secret weapon to mastering these tricky words. Stay tuned for more English language learning videos. Keep reading, keep learning, and until next time, happy studying.